Hey child and welcome back to my channel. Did this snap? Come on, yeah, snap. Y'all know me on my channel when I'm ready to cut loose and I have some fun, I go back in my repertoire of memories of hair care and I pull out some OG stuff and have me a good old wash day. Sometimes I follow all the natural hair rules, other times I set the rules got to go and I just do whatever I want to, all in the name of good fun. And since this is 12 days of Christmas on my channel, what better time is it than to reminisce over some hair care? So, well this time around, honey, I am partnering with somebody on this Listen, before I even tell you who it is, pop quiz. In the early 2000s, maybe even the early 2010s, when somebody first went natural, what hair care brand did they go to to get their hair together? Child, you already know, so listen. I have had a back and forth relationship with Shea Moisture over the years. I've made quite a few videos on their products. Some things I sang really good praise about. Other things I was very, very honest about. And honey, Shea Moisture saw the videos, oh my God. And they actually hit me up and they said, what we value most about you is your authenticity. And I was like, well, look at God. And so Shea Moisture sent me the collection, asked me to go ahead and try it again and give them my honest feedback. And they just so happened to sponsor the video for me to do it. Now listen. So with that being said, shout out to Shea Moisture for sponsoring this video because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations, donations, gifts. So for this video, I'm going to be using their collection that is for thick curly hair that is intended to moisturize and define the curls and that is the coconut and hibiscus collection. And I'm using three products and that's it. I'm using a shampoo, I'm gonna condition my hair, and I'm gonna skip the leave-in because the curl enhancing smoothies ingredients are so much so that I don't feel like I need to put a leave-in under it. Now you always can if you want to, but I'm gonna stick to these three products and I'm gonna give me all busting nasty twist out. So if you are interested to see how these products work for me, keep on watching and yeah, let's go ahead and jump to this wash day. All right, honey, let's get this thing started. So this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. It has silk protein and neem oil. Now again, this whole line is intended for thick and curly hair. Now, of course, if your hair ain't thick and curly, go ahead and use it if you want to. But because of the ingredients, they focus on thick and curly hair. So it does not strip my hair at all. So I do like this. So I'm going to do a regular, regular, smuggler shampoo. Just go ahead and work it up. I'm focusing on my scalp, but then I do bring it down my strands. I'm gonna do two shampoos and then I'll come back and we'll condition. So I just rinsed out my hair and let me tell you something. First of all, that nostalgic smell, it still smell like the same old smell that it has over the years. But let me say, just like I remember, it did cleanse my hair, but my hair is not stripped at all. Like it really did a good job about not stripping my hair. So let's add some moisture to it. So this is the Curl and Shine Conditioner. So this is what it looks like right here as far as the consistency. Chad, if you're gonna stay in my hand and then it feels like lotion, Chad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this on. It goes on really nicely. It's very lightweight. It feels like it is softening my hair the more that I'm rubbing it on. And again, this isn't a deep treatment, so I'm not expecting deep treatment results, but it's, uh, it's a rinse out. See? See. All right, so I'm gonna take me a little bit more. Okay, but going on, it feels really, really good. I'm gonna see what it feels like once it sits for a while and I rinse it out, but it goes on like really nicely. It has a lot of slip as I'm working it through my strands, so I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of my hair. Okay, so it is now applied to my hair in full and I just gotta say, I don't know how the moisture is gonna feel once I rinse it out, cause again, I've never used this before, this is new to me, but upon application on soaking wet hair, the slip on this is really, really nice. So what I'm going to do, honey, if you are new here, please don't judge me for what you're about to see. I promise you, I am not a psychopath. So about a year ago, I was shopping and I needed a shower cap. And I accidentally bought an extra large shower cap. And it's real big and ridiculous looking. And so when I put it on on camera, 
you guys decided to troll me in the comments. And y'all went in on how crazy I look, but here's the thing. I ain't never scared, and I'm the type, if you say something crazy to me, I'ma say something back, and if you troll me about something, I'ma do it again, cause I let you know that you don't run me. And so, I wore the shower cap again. And next thing you know, it became a staple on my channel. Now, I have grown a little big, you know, got a little older, I'm pregnant now, I ain't got as much energy, and then there was some other stuff going on that, oh geez, knows what's up, but anyway. I stopped using this particular shower cap, but y'all won't let it go in the comments. And so I said, because it is 12 days of Christmas, and in the spirit of holiday cheer, I decided to go ahead and cut loose for a little bit. And so, for today's video, I am bringing back an old friend. You know, we doing an OG watch day. Gotta bring back the OG homie. And with that being said, I cannot believe I'm doing this stupid mess. <laughs> On the count of three, I need everybody to say, hey, Samantha. One, two, three. Hey, Samantha! Man, what in the world? <laughs> so if you all knew her, uh -huh. this is my shower cap that y'all was dragging me about. And I kept putting it back on to let y'all know that y'all don't run me, I run me. And it just, listen, it just took off from there. So with that being said, Samantha has made her grand return just for this week. Don't look for it no more. So I am, even though this is not a deep treatment, this is a rinse out conditioner. I do still like to use a little bit of heat because that's just something that my hair responds really well to. So although I am not going to get under the dryer, well, yeah, I am gonna do that. I'm going to get under the dryer for five minutes. Again, this is not a deep treatment and adding heat won't make it act like a deep treatment, but I do like to, um, I like the way my hair feels when I use heat. So I'm gonna get under the dryer for about five minutes, let my hair drink this thing on up. I'm gonna come back and let you know my thoughts about it. But for right now, me and Samantha, we just wanted to say hi. And we're back, Jack. So the technique that I use for this conditioner, I was editing some stuff. So I sat for about five minutes with no heat. And then I got under the dryer, lost track of time. So I was under the dryer for about 10 minutes with the heat. So all in total, I had this in for about 15 minutes. And let me tell you something, this made my hair feel soft and it has great slip. Now it did give my hair moisture. Is it the same level of moisture as a deep treatment? No. But as far as a rinse out goes, this was really, really nice. Like seriously, this is a nice conditioner. All right, so here's what I'm going to do because I don't like putting twist outs on soaking wet hair because then that's even a longer amount of time that I got to be under the dryer. Ain't got time for that. So what I'm going to do now is go off camera and I'm going to blow out my hair using cool air just to get some of this moisture out and then we're going to install this twist out so then I ain't got to be under the dryer as long. All right, so my hair is blown out. We're giving very much so many miles, but we're gonna be cute at the end. So I am getting ready to style my hair using the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I am actually going to do a flat twist. I just really like the way they look on my hair. And I'm giving myself a middle part. I tried it for Thanksgiving and it was giving, honey. And ever since then, I have been committed to twist outs with a middle part. They just look good on me. I'm gonna try not to do it too much, but you know, I like them. And I don't wanna go too far, cause even the directions say to apply it sparingly. So I'm going to take this much product and rub it together in my hands and put it onto the hair and flat twist. So, and what's crazy is I cannot cornrow to save my life, but a flat twist, yes, honey. So we're just gonna go ahead and scoop this over and under. And of course, I'm gonna go all the way down. And now that I'm at the bottom, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it together and coil it around my finger. Simple as that. And I'm gonna take this much product. It really doesn't take a lot. Rub it together in my hands. And then put this all throughout this section. And I'm gonna pay special attention to the ends. And from there, I flat twist and then twirl. So my twists are installed. I'm giving very much so pop smoke, but it's gonna be cute in the end. So here is my formation. I did three in this section, three in this section, and then I just did small twists in the back. Let me go ahead and get under the dryer and I'll see you in a moment. 
and we are back not only is my hair dry it has been slept on honey i needed that rest so what i'm going to do let's start with this one because honey it's all out of pocket so i'm going to take this and just unravel my twist real simple and i didn't put any extra oil on my hand because honestly my hair didn't feel like i needed it so i'm just going to simply unravel and once it's unraveled i like to separate as i go so i'm just going to pull my hair and just let it separate where it naturally wants to part without forcing it. And what I will say is my hair feels super, super soft. So yeah, let me go through my hair and do some separating. And now that my twist is down, I am just going to fluff it out at the root. Cause honey, y'all know I'm the big hair child. I like me some volume. And voila, we got a hairdo child. So since they asked for my honest thoughts on the products, that's exactly what I'm going to give you. So let's start with the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. This is no stranger to me. This was actually a staple shampoo of mine for a very long time. I really enjoy this. Um, it cleanses my hair and it does not strip it at all. I really like this shampoo 100%. The conditioner, the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. What I will say is with this being a rinse out, it did give my hair slip. It made my hair feel like it was easy to manage. It gave my hair a lot of softness and it even added some moisture. So as far as rinse outs go, I really do like this. Now, of course, my personal preference is deep treatments, but when it comes to a rinse out, this thing did the job. And now, the infamous Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Now, I will tell you, I was not one who used this a lot in the past. So I really, I think I've used this maybe once or twice and it's been within the last year or two. Like this isn't something that used to be a staple of mine. So I don't have a lot of history with it. What I will say is this added moisture to my hair, especially for me not to have used a leave-in at all for this particular wash day. It did have some slip to it as well. The hold on it is softer, but I do like it. What I will say is with this being a softer hold, which is what you expect from a cream, right? With my takedown, meaning my separation and picking, I did get a little bit of frizz, but that's to be expected from a creamy product. I am not upset about that. What I will say is because the hold is on the softer side because again cream in a few days if i'm finding that i'm losing a lot of definition then i'll just spritz my hair with water and do some retwisting at night i would not add more product simply because adding more product leads to residue and number two once you spritz your hair with water it will reactivate the product that's already on your hair so you don't need to add more product i will also say because these ingredients are on the heavier side i would make sure that at some point i include a clarifying shampoo in my regimen just to make sure I don't get build up but overall I have no complaints at all when they said moisture and curl defined for thick curly hair I agree with that I actually do enjoy this line with that being said thank y'all for spending time with me thank you Shea Moisture for supporting my channel if y'all have any questions leave them down below I love y'all Maki Dada and I'm out this piece make sure y'all click the link in the description box and yeah that's it for me bye honey